Hi everyone. Okay, so we are live in the Old West End right now. I'm going to turn this around to show you what happened. Um, we did just get some information. We are at the intersection of Columbia and Putnam. That is not exactly where the standoff happened, but it is where the tape is. So we're going to turn this around. As you can see, there's a very large police and fire presence. Um, we do believe that the family just got here and here's what we know so far. Now this is according to TPD, there was a standoff. Police tried to negotiate for two hours. They say negotiations weren't working and they fired tear gas into the house and that a suspect started shooting and an officer and a suspect were both shot and they're both in route to the hospital. So that's what you're seeing here. Um, as you can see, Um, and this is what it looks like the entire block around. You can't get anywhere closer. Um, there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of traffic, people parking on the roads. They heard something was happening and they came to see. Um, we did hear some people who say that they were family um, speaking to law enforcement and they were allowed in and they're in a vehicle. Um, so we don't know a ton more than that other than what the police have told us which is that two people are shot both the suspect and a police officer and they are on route to the hospital um here is ems trying to get out um the neighborhood is completely packed with cars making it very difficult and obviously as you can see a lot of community members are coming out here a lot of them expressing concern for what happened um, I don't want to say anything that they've speculated to me at this time because I've heard a bunch of different stories from a bunch of different people. But again, we do know two people were shot. One was the suspect and one was the police officer. Um, and this is after a two hour standoff at a house here in the Old West End. This is the intersection of Putnam and Columbia just to give you guys a sense of where we are. This entire block is surrounded by people and cars. Um, don't come to this area if you're not from here because no one can drive through and it's really not safe. Um, so we're gonna try and get some clarity on what happened, but as of right now, we know that there was a two hour standoff. Sounds like TPD fired tear gas into the house. And then they say the suspect started shooting and then an officer and the suspect were both shot and they're both on route to the hospital. So obviously this is something that we will be following, something that we will continue to talk to neighbors about and try and get you guys more information. But as of right now, those are all of the details that we have. Um, it does seem like there were a lot of witnesses and a lot of people who were around here since the standoff did, uh, did last for so long and it was in the neighborhood. I believe that it was a block further this way than we are able to get and it might be a block over. Um, when I was walking into here, I did see where there were several fire vehicles with their lights on over there. So this is a very large area that's cordoned off. You can see the tape goes all the way over here to the end of this property and then no one is allowed within one block of where it's happening. So we don't have a good view of what happened. Um, there were some people over at the VIP carry out who um, did say that they were able to see some stuff, but again, right now this is all speculation. So, um, you know, we're going to learn more as time goes on, but we just urge people to be very careful. Stay away from the area if you can. We will make sure to keep you as informed as we can. Um, there are a lot of neighbors and onlookers who are already here. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, we have some other crews who are on their way to different destinations so that we can get you some full team coverage and we will get you as much information as we can, but I'm just gonna go through it right now. What we know, there was a two hour long standoff. Um, after the two hours, they say TPD um, put tear gas into the house and that's when uh, both the suspect and a police officer with TPD um, were both shot. And that's all the information we have. We don't have conditions. We just know that they were sent to the hospital. So we will keep you as updated as we can. Thank you. Bye.